primary responsibilities for the next governor is going to be to help the state recover from Hurricane Matthew. If elected, what will you do to make sure the tens of thousands of people who have been directly and dramatically affected are taken care of? Mr. McCroy? Well, that's a great question. First of all, my prayers are with the 26 people who uh, lost their lives and their families. We're grieving with them, but I'm so proud of the way North Carolina came together in responding to an unexpected hurricane hitting our coast. The thing I'm very proud of of my team that I put together was not only did we have a great team that was deployed early and deployed across the state anticipating every type of hurricane scenario, but I'm also very pleased that we had enough money in, in, in our rainy day fund to pay for money that we'll have to have in the future to help these people recover. Sadly, the Attorney General just in last month in Lumberton, which was one of the hardest hit cities, spoke against having so much money in the rainy day fund, which was a, would have been a huge mistake had he been governor and we not had sufficient money in the rainy day fund. Of all things, the rainy day fund, and we had the most rain we've ever seen in Lumberton in decades. But the thing I'm putting together, I'm announcing tomorrow a long-term hurricane task force with people from throughout the east. And we're going to look at housing, because that's our number one goal, repairing the infrastructure, water and sewer, and also repairing our roads. And uh, in the short term, my main goal is to get people out of short-term shelters and into permanent housing. Mr. Cooper.